Memphis, a poor free throw shooting team. One of the worst in the tournament. And it cost him right there. Jim, you mentioned 63%. Tough to win as they have all year doing that. 120 remaining. Thurman. Partially blocked. Arkansas now three times with a chance to take the lead and denied. Bingo. I thought Garner would try to take that one all the way to the hoop. He had the numbers. Hold it back out. Arkansas coming down to the last minute again. One minute even remaining. One point lead for the Tigers. You now last year their four point win over Duke was the only close game they had in the run of the championship. Every other game they won by eight or more. Garner driving now back over Henderson. Top shot. Rebounded out to McDaniel. Arkansas trailing by one. Now with the fourth trip to take the lead. Remember, Johnson has four fouls on him as well. He's guarding Beck. Williamson walks it inside. Wright is trying to deny him. Wright's fronting him now. Beck lost control of it, but got it back. Timeout, the last one for the Razorbacks with eight on the shot clock. 13 seconds on the game clock. Season on the line in Kansas City. the NCAA Basketball Championship on CBS. And Arkansas pull off another one. Eight seconds on the shot clock, 13-7 on the game clock. Scotty Thurman has that five game winner. Garner will send Beck to the line. Quick whistle on that one, but it was a hand check. And that is the 10th team foul, which will mean Beck will shoot two. You'll see the hand check. Right out front, Garner goes after him without question. It was a touch, but the new interpretation of the rule this year would have found that properly called. Two for Beck. Oh. 67% free throw shooter. He has really turned this around for Arkansas. Put some structure in their game in the second half. Game tied, 11.5 seconds remaining. This one for the lead. He's strong, and the rebound goes to Memphis. The timeout call by the Tigers. 9.5 seconds remaining. And we're out of timeouts here. Corey Beck goes down, shaking his head, and took another shot at the basket, said, I cannot believe that I missed that shot. You can see him holding his head over there. But they have dodged a lot of bullets, Jim. Overtime games this year, both teams have been very successful. Arkansas 2-1, that loss to Kentucky, the SEC championship. Memphis 3-1, they lost to Georgetown and they're only one. There's the release, it's long. Everybody battling for it, timeout, nine seconds to go, Jimmy. Before we get to overtime, Memphis with possession. This is a team that this season has had buzzer beater opportunities on three occasions. They won on two of them and lost on the third. The one they lost was against Arkansas on February the 9th in Fayetteville. Down 88-87 in that game. Mingo Johnson missed a three in that game at the end, and Arkansas survived that one by one. But the other two occasions this year, at Temple, Chris Garner, the point guard, leaning off balance, made a shot at the horn to beat the Owls. And then last week in Austin, David Vaughn on the putback. After a Garner miss, Vaughn put it back up and in with 1 .1 seconds, 1.1 seconds remaining. Memphis advanced here to Kansas City. Jim, in this particular situation, if you're Memphis, you're over there thinking about what you're going to do when the ball's over half court. Against an experienced club like Arkansas, the first consideration is the inbounds pass. I think Garner's the kind of guy, we saw what Tyus said and he did in four seconds. Garner can certainly put you in position to get a shot off 
in nine. That's not a problem. Inbound pass can be. Memphis brings out to the floor Lorenzen Wright, their center. Mingo Johnson, who has 31 tonight. Chris Garner, Justin Wimmer, and Cedric Henderson. And you see who's shielding Garner McDaniel with his 93 steals. Nobody guarding the man taking the ball out of bounds. That man on the sideline cannot move. Henderson will inbound it. It's a tough inbound situation here. It better be a good screen. Pass to Wimmer. Wimmer into the front court. Wimmer gives it up. Johnson outside. Garner over to Wimmer. For the win. Overtime in Kansas City. They got an open shot, but we're going to overtime in the Midwest. Billy, what about the last shot by Memphis here? Well, I'm surprised it goes back out to Garner, who's just a 12% three-point shooter. Wimmer takes it now. Larry Finch said that uh, Stewart got his hands on the ball over the cylinder, but that shot had no chance to go in. So we go to overtime. Good job.